What's up guys, this is Matt from the Nerdy Review. Today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on how to use the Revolve tool in Fusion 360. So in order to do this, I'm just going to do an example and I'm going to show you guys how to model a simple flower pot. So the flower pot we're going to model is going to be like this. It's going to be circular with angled edges and a lip around the top edge, with a drainage hole in the middle. And we're going to be able to create all of this in just one basic step. So getting started, the first step, like almost anything you do in Fusion 360, is going to be to create a sketch. We're going to do this on the front plane. And now to do a revolve, there's two things you need. You need a profile and an axis. So first we're going to make the axis, which is just a construction line. So we're going to create a line make it construction and now the second step is going to be to create your profile so this is the actual profile that fusion is going to take and rotate around this axis to make the the object that you want so since we're rotating around this we're going to go ahead and leave a small gap right here And what that's going to do is create the drainage hole that you saw in the middle. Okay, so try to imagine this flower pot as a cross-sectional view with the axis going up and down the middle. That's what we're going to try to model is this cross-sectional view here. Okay, so going back to our sketch, we're going to create two more lines. We're going to create these angled edges for the lip. Now it doesn't need to be perfect, you know, we're not gonna actually make this flower pot, we're just trying to show you the revolution tool. So this will do. Now that we got our profile complete and closed, it has to be a closed profile for this, which means that the lines connect all the way around. Next we're going to go stop sketch and then I'm going to change my viewpoint just so I can show you guys how this works a little better. And then we're going to go to the create menu and we're going to go down to revolve. Okay, so the first thing that Fusion is going to ask us to do is select the profile. Click there and we have to select the axis. It's going to be that dotted line that we made. It should show you a preview right away for what you're going to make. You know, so it's a little bit different than the flower pot we were looking at, but same basic ideas there. Okay, so I could click OK and we could just be done with this, but I'm going to show you a few more aspects of this tool. So right now we have it on a symmetric with 180 degrees. I'm going to change this to one-sided. So you can choose uh, the angle that you're going to revolve around. And uh, like, like here, we have 180 degrees, so it's a half circle you're revolving around. You know, you could do 90 degrees. You could do 360, which is full circle. You can also choose the option full. And you can choose two, which I'm not able to show you how that works because I don't have any other surfaces or planes to work with. But uh, you do have a few different options for how your, your revolution is going to go about but for the most part that's all there is to it for revolutions uh, if you guys like this video feel free to like and subscribe and if you have any other ideas for videos or questions you know that you want a CAD expert to answer for you you can always feel free to shoot those to us in a message and we'll be happy to help you out uh, thank you very much for watching